over the years nam the canon has suffered so much in this dungeon because some people believe that he is the obstacle for them over the years nam the canon has gone through a lot in the dungeon of DSS because the British government doesn't want to leave the resources of Bia France alone. Over the years, so many things have happened to him. We all know that he was set free of recently, precisely a year ago. The Nigerian government through British government made it impossible for him to be released. To date, that gentleman has continued to suffer in custody. The only thing the British government believe is that he must obey them to do the right thing. For them, the right thing means for them to continue to suck our year while we all suffer. For them, the right thing is for the ginger weed who has no oil in their land to continue to suck our year and use it to load their land while we continue to suffer. For them, evil man must die. For them, Ibo man must not succeed in Nigeria. For them, they must quash Biafra. And that they have tried for so long, and they have never been able to squash it. Because this man that God in heaven, Chuku Kabema, sent to the Biafrans in the name of Mazen Namde Kam, the Hamadika one, has made it impossible for them to succeed. And for this reason, they have continued to keep him in dungeon. If that after so many courts have set him free, if that after so many courts has said he should be free. Nigerian government does not obey court order because British government are the creator of Nigeria. The contraction you are living in today. It's only when it comes to white man that British government believes that people's freedom is important. But when it comes to Africans, British government has continued to aid Nigerian government to cause mayhem against innocent Biafrans because they ask for their freedom and freedom of the people. With all they have done to Mazen Namde Kano, with all they tortured, they tortured him in Kenya. With every evil they have done, including boring some of us at the boys, together with DSS, to kidnap him in Kenya. It shock you. Everything man saw in life, he will read. The truth is this. As the World Boys was part of the so-called DSS that kidnapped Namde Kano in Kenya with the help of Kenya secret police. Some people call them missionaries, but they do some more. So many things have happened against this gentleman. If you know what they did to him in Kenya, believe me, you will say, Oh God. With all this whole thing, this man has continued to stand without moving back. And the criminal British government has refused to call for his release. I told so many of you that they will never call for his release. The United Nations has called for his release. 
So many people, even Americans, some people in Senate of America has called for his relief. But have you ever heard British government call for Nambekanos Lees, a man who is their citizen? The answer is no. This is because they are part and parcel of the atrocities the Nigerian government committed. They did everything possible in Kenya to make sure they break him. But they could not succeed because God in heaven was with, is with him. They brought him back to Nigeria. To date, they have refused to set him free even after so many courts of law are set him free and say free the gentleman he did not commit any crime but buhari government refused to do so in the making of malami because any president that came into office in nigeria always used the judiciary they don't respect the law they don't respect the court orders they don't respect the judiciary they don't respect the constitution of nigeria they claim that everybody should respect because they believe that they are above the law. A fucking criminal civilian president like Bola Metinibu and Buhari believe that they are above the law. We should call respect respect. The Europeans, as greedy, as selfish as they are, they have kept fire for so long, including the art of Buddha's reign, the house of Hebrews. It has always been that way because they, some of them are so selfish and self self so self self, self that I'm not saying that it's every universe. Some of them are exempted. But we have to be truthful to ourselves that if such an is happening in Ibo land where the universe had and money would have been destroyed, no Igbo people will support that. We know how our people rule. We are the people who doesn't even care about you if you are president from Igbo extraction, if you are governor, if you are senator, if you are a, a minister, if you are local government chairman, if you are governor. So far as you are not doing the right thing. But when you are doing the right thing, your cupboard is clean, you have no skeleton on your cupboard, we respect you more than every other person. That is who you are. Even the Fulanis, who call themselves Katarras in Igbo land, who are going around, you can't make for the seven, though created by Nigerian government, former Buhari government. They are still in the eastern region. These are all these people who found out. We hate it when people struggle and other people destroy their source of life freehood. Everything happening today is the handwork of British government. This red, shred you are seeing, are our handwork of British government. But they are going to fail because Mazen Nam the Colonel will never succumb. If he could not succumb for their, with their, for their threat in Kenya, he can never succumb. This is why they have come to keep him in custody. They want to break him. They have done everything possible, but he has been refu has refused to be broken. Time shall tell. Time shall tell. I think I've come to the end of this news. J. Biafra.